he's almost disappointed. Almost literally flying into the intensive cross-channel passenger trade, the new Boeing Jetfoil. Built at a cost of six million pounds, the Jetfoil can carry 278 passengers for 60 miles between Brighton and Dieppe in 100 minutes. Arriving at its home terminus, a Brighton's multi-million pound marina, the craft is ready to turn round and maintain a three crossings a day service, linked by coach and rail to both capitals. Completed in Seattle, the jet foil is powered by gas turbines. It has an English name with a tactful Gallic touch. Speed is the essence of the new sea jet service. Sir Freddie Laker, that well-loved whiz kid of Britain's Airways, comes to open the service officially. The jet foil is not equipped to carry cars, and the trip isn't cheap compared to the traditional ferry services. But its speed and accessibility is a challenge to cross-channel air transport. Once in a clear seaway, submerged horizontal hydrofoils take over, and the hull is lifted nine feet clear on struts. Then it's 50 miles an hour for France, above the waves. Skyman Sir Freddie turns sailor as he takes over the controls. Air conditioning provides inboard comfort, and the computer-controlled hydroplanes eliminate that uncomfortable rock and roll of ordinary sea travel. When you see the jet foil in action, you'll believe a ship can fly, and that La Belle France is getting closer all the time. Facing the sparkling waters of the Florida Straits is the Miami Sea Quarry.